What is so special about this palm tree? Take a closer look and you can see. It's a palm oil tree. Its fruits are used to make palm oil. Palm oil? Sounds exotic. Actually, we use palm oil every day. It's one of the ingredients in margarine, chocolate, washing powder, lipsticks, cream, shampoo, pastries, baby food, candies, deodorant. In Africa and Asia, palm oil is used for cooking. We consume quite a lot of palm oil. 12 million hectares of land are already covered with palm oil plantations, mainly in Malaysia and Indonesia. This equals about one-third the size of Germany. Palm oil has contributed to the clearing of huge areas of rainforest, particularly between 1980 and the year 2000. Precious habitats for animals and plants were destroyed. But we don't need to cut down trees to produce palm oil. How can we break the link between palm oil and deforestation? The WWF is doing its part to help. Since 2002, the WWF has been negotiating with all the parties involved in the production of palm oil. The big companies and the small farmers, the manufacturers and the traders, the shampoo and the chocolate producers, the supermarkets, banks and investors, and other non-governmental organizations advocating for nature, conservation and human rights. The aim is to find a solution together. We know that not one organization has all the answers which is why the WWF brought all the parties involved together to meet for the first time, a great start. The result was the Round Table for Sustainable Palm Oil, a growing non-profit organization with more than 500 members that work together to make palm oil more sustainable. All these members together are responsible for almost half of the world's palm oil production. Finding solutions and compromises is a long and difficult business. Every party brings its own perspective. The WWF argues for nature conservation and for palm oil to benefit small farmers and communities. The majority of the decisions are made by reaching consensus amongst the membership. There is no outvoting the others. The board consists of 16 seats, four of which are reserved for NGOs. One of the huge successes of the roundtable is the development of a certification system for sustainable palm oil. This certification system helps to protect nature and people. It guarantees the workers benefit from fair working conditions and wages, and indigenous groups cannot be robbed of their land. Another success is that clearing precious rainforest is forbidden. Areas rich in biodiversity and endangered species are under strict protection. And who controls all this? Qualified independent certifiers inspect each plantation to ensure that they meet these standards. Their reports are available on the website www.rspo.org and anyone who feels there has been a violation of the RSPO rules has the right to file a complaint with the round table. What has the round table achieved so far? Over 10% of the palm oil production worldwide has been certified to the standards of the round table. Over 1 million hectares of land have been certified by independent assessors. Many producers have become more respectful of both the environment and communities. But nevertheless, the majority of palm oil producers still have a long way to go. The RSPO is not perfect, but the round table is part of the solution. Other measures are the establishment of protected areas, better planning for how land is used, responsible sourcing by companies using palm oil, better national laws, and more informed choices by consumers. This is what the WWF is working for.